After relaxing at home for a little bit, applied for my phase three class, got into the phase three class, and uh, yeah, headed back to Piney Point. This time though, it was only gonna be for about seven weeks. It's two weeks to get your tanker endorsement, one week of government vessel, and then a month of whatever department you chose taking a class for that particular department. Back at Piney Point, phase three. Here we go. It was a little bittersweet coming back to Piney Point. On one side of it, it was Piney Point. Marching, colors, living in the barracks, going to class, being away from family again. But on the other side of that, it kind of felt like home. In the past 10 months, five months were spent at Piney Point, three months were spent on a ship, and two months were spent in Jersey. So, as far as I knew, <laughs> this was home. It was crazy to see how much has changed in just five months. The biggest being the Freedom Star was actually working now. And it was so very nice to see some familiar faces. Third phase. Third phase. <laughs> the first two weeks were Tanker Assist and LNG. We were going to need these two endorsements to work on tankers. As intimidating as the class seemed, it was no problem. Everybody passed. While we were gone, they redid the barracks. <laughs> definitely upgraded it and it was nice just to be hanging out with the guys again shooting the shit having some laughs a part of me missed that after tanker assist the next class was government vessel we were gonna need this to work on any government vessel, obviously. And the class was only a week, but in that week, we did so much hands-on stuff. It was actually kind of fun. Things like learning how to use a cutting torch, to even trying on chemical warfare hazmat suits, which was kind of crazy, but Still interesting. It's always a fun day when you're playing in the water, especially in the summer. So when we had to flood the spaces, everyone was pretty excited. I'm sure some of you recognize this guy. This is Ray from the Northwest Sailor. He also has a YouTube page. Link is in the description. Tell him Joe sent you. While I'm giving shout outs, I might as well take some time to give a shout out to the faculty at the Paul Hall Center. They do a great job, and so many of them actually give a shit about The Apprentice and care about what they do, especially this guy. Mr. Truett is one of those instructors that don't just want to teach, they want you to understand. And because of that, I am very grateful. So Mr. Truett, if you ever see this, 
Thank you very much for doing what you do and actually giving a shit. Government wrestle was definitely a nice break. Like I said, playing in the water and all the hands-on stuff was fun. And to top it all off, at the time there wasn't a test. So it was just a week classes nice. and that was it. It didn't happen very often, but those weekends where you had no studying or no work to do, it was so nice just to hang out and turn your brain off. Benji! While sailing on my second phase ship, I made a decision to join the deck department. Which means I would be taking deck classes for the final month of phase three. The Paul Hall Center has an amazing bridge simulator. I think at the time it was one of the best in the country. Obviously in that last month, we had a ton of classroom stuff, but it was always really nice to go in the bridge simulator and actually feel like you're out to sea again, standing a navigation watch. When we came down to that final week, so the next rule is hours and hours of studying and all paid off because everyone passed. Even Mr. Guy came to congratulate us the only way he knew how. In an episode filled with shout outs, there's no way I can't give Mr. Guy a shout out. He is seriously the backbone of the apprentice program. If you respect him, he will respect you and help you in every way he can to succeed in the program. Thanks for being such a strong influence, Mr. Guy. You guys be sure to check out his YouTube channel too. And in description. Uh, Mariah Carey down here. <laughs> Top bunk. Top bunk. Uh, on yours. Did you shave this morning and half hour? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. No cut corners here, gentlemen. Four phases covered. This ain't about the past seven weeks. This is the past the seven, eight months, nine months, one year for some of you guys and beyond. That's the time you've invested. Make it count today. Keep it moving. You get to the big money now. What's next? Next is colors. Yeah. And after almost one year exactly, we were finally done with the apprentice side of it. No more marching, no more colors, no more living in the barracks. We were moving on to our first real union job. <laughs>